Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this fine uh, 1st of August day it's very warm and we are doing a video on this very rare, freshly arrived Niesman and Biscoff Arto 79 LE. So Niesman and Biscoff they are a very high-end German manufacturer, uh, part of the Heimer Group. Um, so they are think of them as the Bentley of the Heimer group. They build 400 motorhomes a year, all A-classes, or well, until recently all A-classes, for the entire world. There's about 30 a year built for the UK, between 30 and 50. Absolute top-end liner class. So the Arto range is their Fiat-based range. Uh, this is the shorter tag axle one at a time. So it's got six wheels, so it's built on a full-length, specific German Alco galvanized motorhome chassis as a skeleton upwards basically and everything else is done by Niesman Biscoff. Now I've been to the factory in Germany and they're remarkable. Every single one gets a full um, test upon release which you think all motorhomes do but actually they don't. They've even got their own test track to listen to rattles and they're very very high-end gear. All made of metal, metal outside, metal inside so very unlikely to get damp. Double floor Aldi wet radiator heating, fantastic. Um, so positives of the A-Class, you get the massive panoramic front windscreen, you get the width all the way from the front to the back, so you're maximizing your space, and you get insulation all the way around. So the warmest fans on the market, this one's double floor as well, so it's got um, everything going for it. Let's have a little look at the window sheet of it. So it's a 2011 Niesman Biscoff Arto 79 LE. Uh, it's an A-Class top of the range one. It is actually a two berth this one because it's not got the uh, front drop down bed. It's had the option of, of cupboards instead which is much better if you don't need the front drop down bed. Obviously if you do need a four berth it's not much better. Five ton um, so you'll need a C1 driving license. Fiat Ducato Alco chassis, six speed manual, three litre range top head engine. Only done 38,000 miles. It's only eight metres long, 2.3 wide, so it's actually a bit narrower than some. Three metres high, and it's priced at 59.95, which is very, very competitive for one of these. And this is an absolute belter as well, in fairness to it. Previous owners are very knowledgeable. I actually changed it for a caravan, but he's really looked after it. It's a super example. So it looks massive, but it's not. It's only eight metres. Now this tag axle coach belt is pushing nine metres. So actually for a tag, it's fairly short. I own a, a tag axle, six-wheeler, German, double-floor coach belt myself. Ours is 8.15 metres. And if you go much bigger than that, they can be quite tough getting in and out. But a lot of single-axle coach belts are actually eight metres now. So it's actually quite practical, but with all the benefit of the stability of the six wheels. So looking around the outside, we've got the big coach-type mirrors. Uh, this comes with twin 11 kilo gas low refillable gas bottles which you fill up here at an LPG pump so when you're in Europe you can fill up anywhere all through Europe and there's a lot of places that do it in the UK as well. Double electric step, rent vents for your big fridge freezer, you've got an awning up there, looks a little bit short but that's because they've not wanted to cover the garage doors so if you want it to add sides and the front to that you can still access your garage which is what we've done on ours as well. Aldi wet radiator heating as standard on Niesmans, so uh, it's not blown air, it's uh, radiators, runs off gas or mains electric, you can see a radiator there as you go in the door, and it's just a soft, silent, domestic type heating and hot water system, it's much better than blown air. Massive garage at the back, absolutely gargantuan. I don't know how much you can see of that because of the dark, but it's got tie down points, hook points, second door, third door, it goes right the way around the corner. You've got external sockets, there's an uh, external shower in there in the garage as well, and that's all in great condition. We've not valeted this since it's come in, but it's, it's really, really clean, it's very good. At the back we've got a double reversing camera up high, so one looks down when you're reversing, the other one looks further back for when you're driving. And you've got a uh, tow bar as well, which is handy for towing a little car if you want to. These will tow a ton, so you can tow a little Citroen C1 or something. Came around to this side, so condition is first class, there's barely a mark on it, which is amazing for its age. Uh, second garage doors we saw from the inside. Third garage door, as we also saw from the inside, giving you access to around the corner in the garage. That's another one of your Aldi heating pipes there, so even the garage is heated. All your water tanks and your service points are between the floors as well. So you've got mains hook up. Leisure battery, possibly two leisure batteries, I've not checked, and a solar panel on the roof. Fresh water fill up point for your big uh, interfloor fresh water tank. And underneath are here, 
we've got your service point with dump points for your hot and cold water and even that's got a radiator in it so even that's heated which is really really good that storage locker there that will pull out as well and your diesel full up there so no cab doors on these which eliminates any drafts whatsoever and again condition wise there'll be a little mark on it somewhere there's bound to be it's not new it's 11 years old but it's very 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 good there's a little mark there all this stone chip there so we've got the tow bar the camera the awning the solar panel the gas flow on the outside it's also got a thatch and category one alarm system to an axle van so it is rock solid no need for auto leveling fly screen door soft closed door as well these carpets by the way have been put in by the previous owner they're only loose and they'll come up and you've got a nice uh, wood effect vinyl underneath instead understated quality luxury i think that would be how i would sell an easement i did used to sell easements and they are very 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 good the fit and finish i mean new easements are quite shouty um, which the british market like this isn't a shouty van this is just an understated very very high quality bit of kit you got the solid worktop big fridge lovely bedroom with a full width bathroom as well fits a lot into its length in furnace because it's not a monster so looking at the cab spec so we've got the range topping three litre 160 horsepower engine allied to the six speed manual gearbox the fiat also at the time wasn't all that good so maybe a manual is not a bad thing to have air conditioning cruise control we've got a kenwood garmin double din sat nav system don't know how up to date that is you can probably get a get an update for it or replace it with a more modern one but it's there it works and unusually so you've got the cupboards around the front now a classes normally have a swing down double bed there which cuts down your storage it cuts down your, your roof height and they bounce around when you're driving now if you don't need that it was about a thousand pound option not to have it you gain an extra four cupboards and loads of headroom and light and feeling of space so big selfish two berth this but you do have seat belts for four so if you want to uh, carry passengers and put them in an awning or something you can do nice table not too big that will rotate around out the way these are gooty german captain seats are just fantastic upholstery is really high quality very good condition there is a slight mark on it there which probably just needs cleaning off possibly concertina blinds and fly screens all the way around led lighting all the way around as well so it's got all the modern stuff Big fridge freezer, big Dometic three-way fridge freezer there. Separate freezer on top. Um, only thing we do need to do is the oven door is in the garage, so we need to refit the oven door. But that's a little, uh, just a little oven, I think. I don't think it's a grill. It is just an oven, yeah, no top burners. Nice, easy control panel. So you've got your main control panel there, very simple. You've got your Aldi heating digital control panel there, also very simple. And then it's got a satellite dish on the roof. It's got an auto oyster satellite system. We don't check or guarantee aftermarket electrics, but we will leave it on there for you. That's about two, two and a half grand's worth of kit. And that will feed into this TV here, which is a bit dated via a free sat box. You might want to consider upgrading that to a more modern TV or something. But anyway, you can do these things for you if you like. Kitchen facilities wise, you've got the little oven. That's just put in for the UK market. The rest of Europe doesn't want that. So you've got three gas burner hob. Nice, solid, uh, slight, slightly coloured uh, sink. Oh. And then a little drainer there as well, all very nicely done. These cabinet doors are centrally locked off of that lever there, so no catches to go wrong. You lock them all on one, soft close as well. Absolutely huge kitchen storage there, as you can see, with shelves that pull out. Wardrobe here, good size, someone shelved it out, you could put a hanging rail into that, I dare say there'll be another wardrobe around somewhere. And then you come into your bathroom space, so bathroom space is in the middle of the van, so you've got vanity unit there with nice mirrors and sink. Aha, main wardrobe, here we go, here's your main wardrobe with a terrifying load of wires, so that's a sky box in there and a, uh, a free view or a free sat box as well and your oyster control box, so audio visual stuff, unchecked, unguaranteed but it will be left on, sometimes you need reprogramming and stuff those, Aldi heater expansion box there, and loads and loads of clothes storage, shut this off from the rest of the van, way to that door, that's incredible, so 
bring your toilet door across and then you've created yourself a very large dressing area. There is a curtain that comes across here as well, around to the other side. Second TV, again we don't check it or guarantee it, it's an old Avtex, you could update that again if you want, that's running through a Freeview box or a free sat box I think, so it's pretty veteran that, personally I'd replace that with something a bit newer if I were you. Radiators there. And then yeah, your shower and toilet compartment, this is where it gets really clever in Furnace to it, so that's your toilet compartment. It's also an absolutely massive shower, and what you can do is, probably need two hands to do it, if you pull this, as you can see there, your whole toilet disappears, leaving you a huge shower so the toilet goes and hides away in the garage, which is almost like something out of, uh, out of Batman's mansion with Gotham City. It's really cool, isn't it? Very, very smart. Radiator in there, hanging right as well. And then your bed, absolutely massive bed. Um, two full-size singles with a central infill storage underneath as well Oop, which just drops down there you could put more hanging rails in there if you want even more closed space and it's got the frilly um, comfort support system underneath which was a 600 pound option on a Hymer but standard on an Eastman Bischoff cupboards all the way around for loads and loads of clothes storage nice windows on either side and reading lights at the back and all in fantastic condition so understated deep deep quality now you either get these or you don't in fairness to it i probably didn't until i sold them now i do i can see where the money goes on these so new one of these today an arto I don't think they do an 8 metre one anymore, but the new Arto 8.8 metres, 150, 160, 170,000 pounds maybe. You can have this one here that's only done, is it 32, 28,000 miles, 38,000 miles with all the kit it's got on it. It's got the alarm as well, so it's fully, fully loaded. Could be yours for 59,995. It's not for everybody, but for those who understand what it is and appreciate the quality, you will not buy a better van for this money. So it's here now in stock with us. Oh, it's got the electric front window blind as well, this one which was a nice option. So it's here in stock with us at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. We are between Exeter and Plymouth at Newton Abbott on the A38 South Devon Expressway. We're dead easy to get to. Phone number is 01626 832 If you can't get through on that one, ring the mobile number 07432 662558. uk is the website and ask us about our beautiful, rare and altogether lovely Neesman Bischoff Arto 79LE. Thank you very much. Goodbye.